I apologize about my face. I have a bacterial infection, so I should have been talking about Parasite yesterday. Am I right, folks? I have to live with it. You only have to see it for two minutes. This movie, I remember going and seeing it in a theater, and there is that one scene where they're in a car, and this advancing group of people comes at them, and they like throw a bottle. It's all done in one continuous take, and the camera's swooping around the car and going inside and following it, and my mind was like, how? How is this happening? How is any of this being made? This is Children of Men. This is another great example of a movie where just because it doesn't make a lot of money doesn't make it isn't a great movie. No one seemed to talk about this film and it was one of my favorites of the year, the year that it came out. Now I have to admit something and this is not a popular opinion but I've never been like the biggest fan of Clive Owen but he is perfectly cast in this film. Alfonso Cuaron, on the other hand, I had been a fan of his filmmaking for many, many years up until this point. And this, for me, was his, like his first true masterpiece. Another thing that I'm not a big fan of is nihilism. And you could say there is an argument to be made that this is a pretty dour film. But I think at the end, what we see is that little bit of hope. There's a glimmer of like, there's something better in this world to come. And so you kind of leave on a happy note. I have not read the book. I do know that it's very different in the book. So, but the movie is so well done. It is such a great like journey through this post-apocalyptic world where women have stopped having children and our main character is basically beaten down. Like there is no reason to hope anymore until a little bit of hope is given back to him. I love this movie. I like watching it. I think that there is just some incredible filmmaking on display here. Every performance is like knocked out of the park. But what do you think? I'd love to know what your favorite post-apocalyptic movie is. Tomorrow we get back to animation and potentially the best superhero film of all time.